Good morning, everybody. Uh, I first uh, like to thank the organizers for giving me this opportunity to talk here. Today, I will talk about some numbers and probabilities in the context of classical and quantum works. So I begin with Pascal's triangle, which is a very well-known thing. Uh, and it is named after Blaise Pascal. But before that, it was known, this pattern was known in Iran, China, and Italy in, with some other name. Not only that, in between 500 and 200 BC, the same pattern was found by Pingala in Chanda Shastra. Well, I'm not uh, going to claim that everything was shabhi vyade achi. I'm not going to claim that, but it was there. Uh, uh, but the application was done in probability theory, and it started with Pascal. So this is basically my Pascal's triangle. And what I can observe here is the first one, the extreme left and right, there are ones. Then there are natural numbers. Then there are triangular numbers, and so on. So uh, there are several other properties of this. Namely, uh, so suppose for a particular row, the total number is equal to 2 to the power the row number, uh, and many more things. So I wish to show what is the probability um, for a classical worker from this Pascal's triangle. I can see. Uh, so if there are, uh, sorry, there are, these are the positions um, in one dimensional lattice sites and these are the time. And what I have here, if I see the Pascal's triangle and divide every number by 2 to the power t, I will get the probability at that particular position. That is known. Now I will talk about the Fibonacci sequence and try to show what is the connection in between them in the context of classical worker. So this is a typical Fibonacci sequence here. Uh, it was introduced by Pascal. But before that, again, in India, uh, Hemachandra arrived at the same sequence in some different con context, which is in the context of rhythm. Uh, and that was in Sanskrit poems. He uh, observed this kind of a sequence. Suppose I have a beat, what we usually see in music. I have a beat of one second duration. And if I have two seconds of duration, I can have two short bits or one long bit of two second duration. So these are the patterns. So this is one number of bits. This is the types of rhythm, one short bit, and the total number is one. If it is two, then I can have two short bits or one long bit. So these are two patterns observed. For three, this is like this, and three patterns are there. And for four, these are the patterns, which is five. And in the same way, I can have Fibonacci sequence here, what Hemachandra observed. I will try to use this kind of a concept for the classical worker. So this is my classical worker. And what I have for a classical work, if I toss a coin and it's a head, it will go to the right. And if it is a tail, it will go to the left. So I wish to erase the direction which in which direction it is moving here so that if it is a head or if it is a tail, it will be treated as a short step. And for the second time, this is the second time I am having the probabilities by dividing by 2 to the power 2 here. So I can have, I can be here at place 1 by tossing coin twice and it will be head head. So I will reach 1. Then if I have a tail tail, I will reach minus 1. And if it is head tail or tail head, I will reach 0 for the classical worker. So in this case, if there is a change in direction, I will have two short steps. I will count it as two short steps. And if it is head, head, or tail, tail, I will take it as long, one long step. But if it is three heads or three tails, then I cannot count more than two, as was in Hemachandra sequence. I am uh, taking the same assumption here. Two steps at a time, and I can count as a long step, but not more than two. Well, this is not uh, uh, particularly random. I will show you another one where, where I can have one very long step of three step length. But this is in connection to some natural things. Say in nature, some uh, animals, they cannot count more than three. Say crow, it cannot count more than three. Or a squirrel, it cannot have a, a count more than six. In that type of a concept, I'm using this. The basic is, basic is two, two step of length. So now, uh, this is what I have at time step 3. And there are some possibilities which are, if you see all the possibilities, they can be categorized in three 
possibilities ALS, SL or SSS. These are the three possibilities. Now what are the number of arrangements I am having uh, for this? If I am checking whether the last step is a short step or last step is a long step. So I define if the last step is a short step I define it as ST which is 2 here and if the last step is a long step I am saying it is a it is LT the numbers are LT and that is 1 here. So the total arrangement is ST plus LT. Now what I am having for the next time step I am adding one short step for LS and what we are having from here LSS if the last two steps are in opposite direction. But if the last two steps are in same direction this SS will be L and therefore the two possibilities are LSS and LL from the first one. From the second one SL there will be only one possibility SLS and from the third one there are two possibilities again. So what we have at time step t plus 1 say it will be composed of short number of combinations with last steps short from the previous one previous time and number of combinations where the last step is long from the previous one. So that will be AT. In a similar way I can have LT plus 1 is ST and that is AT T minus 1. So what we have is number of arrangement at a particular step depends on the number of arrangement from the previous two steps and it is the Fibonacci here. So uh, it, it is actually uh, in connection of short and long steps but this um, Fibonacci sequence is observed in case of spin spin systems interacting spin systems where there is there are different kinds of competing interactions and there I have this kind of a Fibonacci in any model you can have the this kind of a Fibonacci but the idea was a bit different there. Well now I am showing a lazy classical work which I define in this way that the classical work can go to the right or left this uh, usual classical work but it can stay at the middle also. So the probability for the first step will be I can have that by dividing by 3 to the power t in each step I can divide by 3 to the power t to have the probability actual probability. So this is the typical one and from here also I can have the same kind of patterns which I have here and here as I define that two short steps there, there may be short step there may be a long step of two, two short step duration and there may be a very long step of three short steps duration. So the, these are the patterns observed here S, S, L and L3. L3 is the three, three short steps. So these are the typical combinations I have here and this is the sequence generated here these are the numbers where the every fourth number is obtained by from the previous three numbers and that can uh, I can have that from by erasing the uh, where it is going it is just moving or not I can have that idea and from that again I can generate another recursion relation here exactly like Fibonacci sequence um, like the, the any particular uh, arrangement at a particular time step will depend on the arrangements of the previous three time steps. I can have it from here. Now uh, let us move to quantum regime. So it's a, it's a quantum random worker and here every uh, in every time step it moves in superposition of left and right. Suppose if it starts from 0 it can move in superposition of left and right and uh, the state of the worker is expressed in xd basis where this x is the position eigenstate and d is the chirality eigenstate. It is a different kinds of degree of freedom and here we toss a Hadamard coin instead of a classical coin we toss a Hadamard coin and it actually uh, rotates the chirality against it it operates on the chirality. It can be um, solved by analytically or uh, with some numerical methods and this is the typical uh, occupation probability uh, for different sites for a symmetric worker where the worker can move. Um, where the worker was initially uh, with equal superposition of left and right chirality states. So this is the probability distribution of that. Uh, now if I write the same with numbers again without that 2 to the power t division if I write the numbers what I can observe from here for the quantum worker okay here any quantum worker can go up to t over root 2 in any time step it has a it can reach up to t over root 2 and what we have from here near close to 2 over root 2 if I see the positions 
then the numbers are like t minus 2 whole square plus 2. Again, if I uh, consider what is at position 0, the occupation probability at position 0, so these are the numbers 2, 8, 18 and 72, these are not the probabilities obviously, these are the numbers without the division, these are the numbers. So what are the numbers? The numbers we get is 2, 8, 18, 72, 200 and so on. And these numbers are typically some kind of 2n square, which I have for these kind of n's. And these are arithmetic means of triangular numbers. But is there any other information related to this? Well, if I uh, consider the orbital quantum number, then uh, for the, say, for principal quantum number 1, I have the filling with electrons by 1 is 2. There, are, there will be 2 electrons for the first one. The second one will be 2s2 to 2p6. So there will be 8. For the third, there will be 18. And so on. These are the numbers. So if this, these numbers form a set, then it's a subset of this one. And I can, I can, I have checked that this actually going for well, within this set. What happens if I uh, make some biasing to the symmetric worker? Well, this is a typical asymmetric worker where, where the bias is towards the right. And as you can see that there is larger probability on the right hand side instead of the left. And if I see the numbers again here, so if you check at the middle, the numbers are remaining the same exactly as before. So one possible explanation of that may be uh, if we increase the orbital quantum number, then electrons will stay away from the nucleus. It has larger probability to stay away from the nucleus. And here also, if I increase the time step, the quantum worker is spreading towards the extremities and therefore uh, it is going away from the zeroth position. But I cannot understand why the num exact numbers are coming. And last one is the lazy quantum worker, uh, where the worker moves in superposition of left, right and neutral, but I am not going into the detail of that. Here also a pattern is observed. but not the detail of that. And finally, the most important slide. So thank you for your attention.